Welcome to the Hot Mess Mountain Mamas, episode 41. 41. And we are talking today, we're going to start a little series on hobbies. And one of Becca's lovely hobbies is <laughs> right behind us. This whole mess This, here. Whole, me this whole mess of <laughs> loveliness. This whole hot mess. Yeah, hot no, mess. Pun intended. None. None at all. Actually, I said pun intended. Oh, pun <laughs> intended. Hot. hot. Oh yeah, cause the, oh, I, that went over my head. I was like, what? It's hot in here. It's hot in here. Hot it's greenhouse. Really hot in here. So she and has- is gonna blow y'all over in my Uh-oh, uh-oh. We might have to move into the hot greenhouse to not get the wind. But she's gonna tell us about her greenhouse hobby, which actually provides a lot for her family. And- It's getting there. Yeah. It's but, not perfect, but it's getting there. But your hobby, size compared to my hobby size is drastically different <laughs> your hobby is much bigger than my hobby my, my little hobby started like yours yeah little so that's, tiny. that's why we're yeah. like oh this is cool yeah because yeah. where jackie's at is where i was at which yes. uh, mine is very small little like 10 by 10 maybe mm -hmm. garden area and no greenhouse so that means my growing season is very short <laughs> like 30 to 45 days really depending on the year mm -hmm. yeah 30 yeah. to 45 days which means i can grow potatoes lettuces spinach spinach yeah spinach um, you can do like broccoli i've done so i have done nice. broccoli it bloom it sprouted broccoli's little broccoliettes broccoli broccoli <laughs> broccoli's once and then it went to seed yeah so i had like months of like anyway so broccoli, you know, technically, and um, as strawberries, I've done. Yeah, because it's cold. Up here. Yeah, and I think some of the winter. So if you think winter foods, those yeah. do better. I know, like cabbage. Yeah, it's almost kale. like for people in other parts of the world, your fall plantings and mm -hmm. things you're gonna plant for fall mm -hmm. is really what you should plant. Like it's kind <laughs> of in, <laughs> in the summer here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if you have a greenhouse that kind of widens mm -hmm. what you can, mm -hmm. it broadens you can cover what you can your do. plants. There's yeah. there's a lot that you can do. Yeah, I always so. forget to cover my plants. <laughs> I had tomatoes that finally were like so many green tomatoes. I was like finally, and then it froze. Yeah. And I was like, bye yeah. bye, bye bye, tomato. I think yeah. it snowed actually. It snowed and it froze because yeah. even my tomatoes that were in here, I, I had to bring them all inside. Okay. And there's this trick that you can do where you bring them in on the plant. So you basically uproot the entire plant. Oh. And you just flip, you just hang it upside down. Oh, so okay. I didn't do that. Like getting some of the nutrients and you, yeah. they kind of like, some of them reddened and some of them didn't. Okay. Yeah, so, so um so Becca's gonna share with us a little bit about her glasses. I know I was just noticing her glasses are all cattywankus, the baby, the baby over there. Um but Becca's gonna show us kind of what she does. Yeah. And her hobby. Yeah. Which, which is, is also, one of her is, many hobbies. This gardening. is my dad, by the way. And her dad in the background. So she's yeah. he came to visit and she put him to work like a I like a not. good daughter. Like People a good daughter. Always say that. <laughs> It's not true. No, he's very, he jumps in. Yeah, he, he sees will something and wants to, things to do yeah. if we don't give him a list. Yeah, so that's so, awesome. I mean, that's yeah. great. That's yeah, very cool. Really so is. he's helping in the blessed. garden behind us. So what What would you, what kind of things? So, I'm going to, come here, baby. Yeah, you, you go. Can, yes, go get your daughter. <laughs> Okay, so my first garden on this property started kind of like Jackie's. So like small bed, whatever dirt was here was here. And the dirt up here just naturally does not grow the way, like it doesn't grow stuff. By the way, she lost her shoe. Oh no, uh, she's always losing that shoe. So, must be the way she holds her foot. That was a very lovely squat. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, this, is, this is how we pick things up. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so we, I planted actually in the bed that's like over here. Yeah. Behind Dennis. Yeah, behind Dennis. And um, it barely grew anything. It was like what Jackie was talking about. Yeah. Like yeah. I had like some spinach maybe. 
and the strawberries didn't really even attempt to do anything <laughs> and it just was really sad it was really really sad so I planted stuff and it just didn't work Cassie mm -mm. It just didn't work and that's when I discovered soil testing oh and tested yes. my soil and noted that it was like everything was depleted that's what the <laughs> okay. test came out it was like depleted 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 yeah. Yeah. and the pH up here is super 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 high yeah so and I just heard from like learned from Becky two doors down from us she was like yeah she's like it's actually really good soil it's full of like iron and all the nutrients but for some reason the the way it's composed or maybe it's the fact that the pH is too high the plants can't actually extract the nutrients out of it oh interesting I was okay. like huh okay hmm so the things you learn I know when you pick up a hobby right and whenever you talk to old timers that have lived here a mm -hmm. long time so started with that and then I built this old looking hillbilly greenhouse that was four by 12 yeah and used old windows yeah that was pretty made... awesome actually I was like hey maybe I should take your windows take so my, I can have my couple windows yeah, over. Couple windows over. Um, yeah that was actually pretty awesome I was I was envious of your your creativity my, my and hillbilly your... greenhouse yeah yeah <laughs> There goes the other shoe. Okay. I can hold a shoe. Okay. We can, th we can throw it over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or not. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever. There it goes. So, I guess my encouragement to people is it's like, you know, a lot of people are like, I don't have a green thumb. I can't grow things. And I'm like, well, I couldn't either. Mm -hmm. And you don't learn until you start actually trying. So, lots of tips and tricks that you can start to do. If you live in a cold place. You can get windows and construct because sometimes you can get free windows. That's where I got all my windows. I got them all for free. Yeah. We just is... put it out there on Facebook Marketplace looking for old free windows. <laughs> and a lot of places are like, oh, sweet. I don't have to take these to the dump. Yeah. So um, you can there. do stuff like that. The other thing you can do is actually just buy plastic, like greenhouse plastic. And I've seen people take cattle panels. So cattle panels are like what's over or what's around this tree right here. I guess we could walk over there, right? Let's follow Jackie. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. There, it's just a super stiff metal and they'll turn it on its end. So it's like in a hoop. Mm -hmm. And then you put that. So that's what I think you should do with your garden. Yeah. Is get a cattle yeah. panel. And then you just put it over your garden bed and then you can put the plastic over it. Yeah, and then that gives you some extra life. Mm -hmm. Especially if you live longer. in cold, yep. high altitude, yep. where in the mountains essentially, mm -hmm. where really any mountains probably yep. work, it's um, where you have a short grow season. Yes. Yep. Because we have one of the yep. shortest grow seasons, I think, in the country. Yeah. 30 Except days. Except for maybe goes Alaska. But yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> lower 48. Lower yeah. 48. Alaska that's right. probably has a much shorter grow season. <laughs> <laughs> we almost lost you. Whoa. 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 So, yeah. Those are, those are just some tips and tricks. I've even seen people just take like plastic jugs and put them over their plants if it looks like it's oh, going to yeah. frost or freeze. Oh, you should show so, the jug uh, yeah. system that you have Yeah. if we want to walk. Yeah, back. we'll walk back uh, to the greenhouse. Oh Come on, baby. guys. Come on over. <laughs> 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 See our <laughs> big mess. Everything's in process right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I learned about, I'm sure a lot of people, if you've done any gardening, you know about the jug system back here. Um, <laughs> jug. Jug. System. Jugs. Not um, drug system. I heard oh, drug at yeah. first and I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So essentially what you do is you take the milk jug and you first you stab holes in the back or in the bottom. So you have drainage holes. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> and then you cut the top like this. Put dirt in it. Whoops, don't want to lose my one little pepper Tabasco in there. Um, and then you can plant your seeds in this. Now, I learned this from Svetlana. Yes, and, and me as well. Okay, there you go. She's like, I heard the exact same thing from somebody yeah. else in town too. They yeah. were like, oh, she did. She like taught, she kind of showed us 
Mm -hmm. I did it the one year and I did grow some things in it. I just haven't repeated it, but right. you can tape, tape it. Yep. If it's too cold and you don't want any yep. moisture and then you leave the top off um, until it warms up more. Yep. Yep. And it kind of makes its own little um, ecosystem. Yep. Kind of keeps the moisture mm -hmm. in there. My problem was, is that I tried to do the whole overwinter thing. So I okay. like did this in like January, February and put them in there and then completely forgot about them, threw them in my greenhouse. Well, my greenhouse was still getting up to like 80, 90 oh, did you degrees. Kill everything? Everything totally dried out. Cooked, so I yeah. think the seeds just yeah. were gone. Yeah. So I had to redo it. So but you do have some things growing now, right? Like in that one? Yeah. Yeah, that so one has. There's some yeah. little guys. And I will not, I won't leave them in here, obviously. There's not enough room for the roots. Right. Start. This is just to get them started yeah. when it's too cold to get the seeds started. Because here you have to start your seeds way before it's warm enough to actually have your seeds out. Yeah. So you can have your seeds taking up your entire kitchen or you can yeah, maybe unlike have them every on the surface. porch or on a, yeah. on a, you know, yeah, yeah. A, in yeah. a, in a garage or something where, yeah, there it's, yeah. Some people actually use grow lights too. So grow I have a, lights, I have yeah, a tiny true. grow light. My mom, my dad actually rigged up for my mom, um, uh, ballast okay. with the, are those the, what are those big, the long tube lights? Oh, um, what are those called? Oh yeah. Oh, I can't remember. I don't hey, know. Hey dad, dad, what are those long tube lights called? Fluorescent. Oh, flore fluorescent lights. That's there what I was looking go. for. Super easy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so eight foot long fluorescent fixtures mm -hmm. is what he rigged up for my mom to put over her plants. Okay. And when they lived in North Dakota, they would just raise it as the plants would oh, come okay. out. So you actually want your, la your lamp like really close to the dirt. And then once they sprout, you keep it close. And as the plants grow up to it, then you raise it. Otherwise okay. they get super spindly and weak. Oh, interesting. So there, okay. I mean, there's tons of things yeah. you can do. Like you were saying, just bring them inside or you can set something up in your garage mm -hmm. like that. Um, yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I even grew things in Russia in the eighth story apartment. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's pretty good. there are lots of systems out there. I just feel like it's a matter of like, just start. Yeah. Just yeah. trial and error sometimes, or do research. There's YouTubers out there that are way better. Like they inform better than yeah. I do. <laughs> inform, informant. There's better YouTube informants, informants on gardening. That's right. Garden informant. Um, yeah. So, but but like you were saying mm -hmm. initially, you just kind of started. Yeah. It was a hobby. It really was a hobby garden. But now your goal kind of. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your goal is to be able to feed your family. Yes. On yeah. what you're growing, which yes. is awesome. Yes. Yep. So, so we'll get there. This is not nearly enough beds, the three beds that are in here. Yeah. But but the but the space in here is big enough as you grow to oh there's to be tons able of space. To, yeah, to yeah. be able to get yeah. stuff going. Probably even enough to eventually share if you have yes. a good year yeah. or something. Yeah, maybe even yeah. sell or who knows. Yeah. Who knows? Right. Happens. Or sell. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yep. Um like your eggs. Because you sell mm -hmm. you have enough chickens for eggs now. Yep. Cora's coop. Cora's coop. <laughs> Cora's Coop, Fresh Farm Eggs, organic, so, right? Which uh -huh. is cool. So, I mean, it's just... Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, Basically, organic. Basically, yeah. they free range. Sometimes we buy the non-GMO food that's organic from the Delta oh, okay. elevator. Okay. Sometimes, if we don't want to drive all the way to Delta, we'll buy yeah. feed You from... try it, but it's good quality. You buy good quality oh, stuff. Yeah. And then they yeah. free range, of course, like you yeah. said. Which is, which is plenty of great stuff here yeah. in the mountains. Yeah. No, Thankfully, no our... GMO crops nearby. <laughs> For to... real. <sighs> no GMO seeds floating over from the uh, next day. From the... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> to cross contaminate. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, we should get your garden. We should. Going. We should. Even I... if you start to grow lettuce. Yeah. I need to do again. something. I need to go do something. The chickens and the rabbits were on it all. I have to go see what... They kind of what decimated they for what you? had grown, what yeah. had grown. So yeah. I have an empty bed now completely. Yeah. 
You can start all over. Yeah, you can start That's all like over. The best. And so I offered to give her poop too because we do have. She a lot did of poop. offer to give me poop, and I was like, "Sweet, thank you." Mm -hmm. I do think probably the chickens and rabbits did poo in there, mm -hmm. so I've got to go check. Yeah, my that's soil. good stuff too. Yeah, so check my soil. Find people in your area that have livestock. Yeah, because they'll give good manure. Yep, and um, that's good for. Yep. Let me show you guys one more thing. Yep. Before it. we go. Because Jackie, I think you might be interested in this. Because you did potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. I so potatoes. I'm cleaning things up, so it's definitely um it's kind of a mess. Hot mess mama area. Pretty much. Over here. Yeah, we pulled out the pool. Hot mess mama zone. Okay, so this I don't know if you guys this is gonna be my potato bed. Okay. Oh sweet. Oh yeah. So there are pallets that you can get for free a lot of places. Amos, hush. Um <laughs> Hot mess, oh, mess. She's, she's excited by the water. Oh, yeah. Put her feet in the water. Yeah. Awesome. So um so like at Blue Spruce, Jackie, you um, could grab this yeah. water is get warm. free pallets usually. And you just take it. I've heard this in theory. I have not practiced this. So this yeah, is one I of those. She can sit on. It could be trial and error, but. Could be. Could so be. we'll see. But basically what you do is you will, we'll put a fourth pallet over here and you fill it with dirt. And I'm going to fill it with some straw as well. Cause this dirt is super clayy and heavy and. Clayy. Clayy. Those are some official words. That's clay right. It's official. Yes, it's official. Yes. She um, can't, you know, I think she's okay right here because she can't she is she loving it. really hold herself up very well. Thank you, though. <laughs> We've got our kids and yeah, really. Yeah, we should show them real quick. We've got the, the pool system going. That's right. Cassie's splashing her feet in here because she was excited by the water. Yep. So. It's time. Yeah, she started. She totally was like, hey. The lake was cold. Yeah. Well, of course oh, it's cold. We live in the mountains. So you'll plant your potatoes down in here. And then put, as they grow up, you'll just keep putting more dirt on it. And eventually the idea is that this whole thing will be full yeah. of yes. and potatoes. potatoes. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. then whenever it comes time to harvest, you just open this up and let all the dirt yeah, fall that's out. That's awesome. Yeah. And then you can just harvest your potatoes. Yeah, that's so, so. awesome. All right, Jackie, do you have anything else to add? Um, you, uh, you guys should tell us your gardening secrets. Yes, tell us your gardening secrets. Do you grow, what what environment or what zone are you growing in? And what have you done that works in this? Amos! Let's go over here. <laughs> Always a hot mess I know, here. it's awesome. Um, but okay. what, what, here we go. Hello! Um, what works for you? What awesome. works for you? What tips have you come up with yep. for your zone? Cause yep. I'm sure everybody is in different zones. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, so we want to know, what if we move? We might need to know your zone tips. Exactly. So yep. share them mm -hmm. and have an awesome <laughs> summer day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for everybody else. For everybody else. This We're having like a spring day. Our first feels, feels like summer day. Yeah. Except for yeah. the cloud cover. I know, it does finally feel, but it's kind of nice. This is really nice. Because it gets roasty toasty without the cloud cover in the summer here. Yeah. I mean, 80 feels super hot. <laughs> it does, well, we're closer to the sun. We are so much closer to the sun. So, all right. All right. Have a good day. Find you us will. at? Uh, Becca Maria EO. I totally forgot. Becca like, Maria EO. <laughs> right and here. At, right here. At Jackie Cambish on various platforms. Yep. Bye. See you later.